Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Fancy Football. It's time for game week 11 preview. Now before we get on to the week let's have a quick look at game week 10 and see how well my team did. And don't worry about the video layout, I'm um, just testing a few things out so it's a little bit different. Um, basically um, my screen's on this side and I look at my team on this side and uh, you know my previous videos my team was on the other side. So it, I'm just basically adjusting a few things out. So it might change again. So as you can see, my final points for game week 10 is 74 points. Now it is above the average of 58, which is fantastic. However, I did take an additional hit. So I'll go through and explain that. Um, I lost around 500 places. Which is strange, so a little red arrow. I actually thought I did well with 74. So it looks like people around the 10k mark, um, the average must have been around 65 plus. So as you can see, this was my team. Now there were a few shocks and let's have a quick look. Now my goalkeeper, Patricio. The Wolves goalkeeper, two points. A lot of managers do have some Wolves players. So, very, very disappointment. The fact that he got two. Uh, Alexander Arnold actually played. A player that I desperately like needed for him to play. Because I had a little balance that I wanted to go with. And he was the key for that. He played, but Car Cardiff actually scored against Liverpool. Did not expect that at all. Oh, and but the biggest shock here was Robertson did not play, so that hurt a lot of managers. Now, Alonso, a lot of managers thought of you know removing him because of his price tag. Now, I actually got him in where is it? So, I actually got him in that Newcastle game, and yeah, so I got him when he was 6.6, .6, now 7 million, and I don't think I want to get rid and plus. He's still got an amazing fixture, so there might be more points to come from him. Next up, we got Mendy. Now, I'm going to explain to you guys why I took that additional hit. Basically, in the beginning of the week, uh, I had Mane as injured. Now, I didn't know he was going to play the Champions League, and I had the exact money for Salah. And it was the plan to bring Salah in anyway, so I bought him in, just in case... You know, Alexander Arnold or Mitro uh, lost a value. So if that happened and money was injured, then yeah, I, I would have had to take an additional hit to bring Salah. So I bought him immediately for that free transfer. Then at the end, I thought, you know what? I really do want Mendy because uh, the next game week, like game week 11, you know, Manchester City against Sahanda, that's an incredible, incredible fixture. And a lot of managers are going to think to bring uh manchester city assets so i thought i'll take the hit now um I, I, you, I, I didn't need to take the hit i could have hold trippier but i i kind of felt that you know with the amount of injuries that tottenham's got i thought you know manchester city's probably got a higher chance to win that match so i took the hit got mendy in, and it actually worked out well because um trippier got two and mendy got six Mendy could have got some bonus points as well, but he lost it near the end. And Salah with 30 points, one goal, two assists, 15 points. Even Mane um, got the same amount of points. I, I, I should have just holded him and I could have been fine. But these things happen. You need to react very, very quickly just in case. Um, Richarlison was on my bench because Hazard was on my field. But Hazard did not play because of back injury. And Richarlison came off of bench with a lovely five points. Which was needed because these mid-price players are really... I don't know. I, I, I really don't like them no more. Um, but we'll go and talk about that later on. Madison with two and Knockhart. Look, sometimes you need to take a risk. And this guy is a player that I'm taking a risk with. And it hasn't paid off. So it kind of hurts. Hurts badly. But it's fine. And it definitely, definitely needs to go. 
Sergio with two. A lot of managers are thinking to remove him because you know how expensive he is. Uh, Mitro with one. That Fulham defense, that Fulham team is not helping this guy. That is the problem. So yeah, he's with one. And Wilson actually saved my week. Wow. This guy... I don't know. I think this guy is... Could be my best player. I mean, I didn't own him in the beginning. If I did, he would have... Yeah, this guy has been performing fantastically. Bournemouth's fixtures are quite difficult, you know, in the next coming weeks. But I, I do think he can still score or maybe even get that penalty um, assist. So, decent points. I still maintain the rank, which is fantastic. Uh, the bench, you know, Bennett with two, Rambo Saka with one. So, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. A little disappointment that I lost a few ranks, um, but it's fine. Let's move on to game week 11, and I'm going to be talking about a few transfer options and some plans that I need to make for the upcoming weeks. So, here we go. So, guys, this is my team set up for game week 11, and I'm pretty damn happy with it. I've got a decent balance to my team, and I've got players here that has got great fixtures for this week. So, I'm actually really happy. So, there is a high chance that I can actually bank a transfer. However, I am thinking to make one transfer at least. And it is my goalkeeper. Now, my goalkeeper is going to be playing uh, against Spurs and Arsenal in the next two. And I think I found someone else that I can actually replace him with. And as you can see, the balance is, you know, having two Chelsea players... Two Liverpool players and two Manchester City players. As you can see, Chelsea has got great home fixture against Crystal Palace and Everton at home. So these next two are fantastic. Uh, even tripling up with Chelsea players could be the choice to go with. I've uh, got Alonso. You know, he's got, he's got an assist in his last game. I think this could be uh, the time where he brings these points back. I did kind of smoke about it where don't remove Alonso for these games because these will give him a higher chance to get something. Now, Hazard, we need to wait and see how long he's, he's out for. If, if he, I reckon he'll be back uh, in game week 11, so I'm going to keep him. There's no rush. There's no worry, so it's fine. I'm going to keep him. I'm going to hold him to the end. Um, and I've got two Liverpool players. Now, it is against Arsenal, but you know we don't know what's going to happen here. Anything can happen. Uh, there might be a lot of goals. There might be that clean sheet. And I'm just going to pray and, and hope that he plays. That's it. And if he does, then there is a chance, obviously, for him to get something. And this is the big fixture here. Um, uh, Manchester City against Southampton. This is where Manchester City can score a lot of goals in and give us a lot of points. So that's why I wanted to bring at least an additional Manchester City player. Now, a few people was actually talking about many might be dropped, but... This guy's got six assists, guys, and he's doing pretty well. So, I don't think he'll be dropped. I don't think he will be. I hope he's not, but we'll see. I do have some cover, but not the best cover. Uh, Richarlis at home, great fixture for him to get something. I just hope he does not play up front. Oh my god, just play anywhere in the wings, in the midfield. Just play anywhere else instead of the front. Oh my god. Oh. Anyways, next up I've got Madison against Cardiff. Now, a few people said that this game might be postponed. But I'm not 100% sure. But I just want to say that I'm so sorry what just happened. Um, my heart goes out to the Leicester, um, Leicester City, Leicester players. Uh, the fans, the people that is involved, um, the chairman's family. Uh, my heart goes out for you guys. I'm truly sorry what happened to you guys. Uh, I hope you guys will just stay strong. You know, we're here as a community and we are thinking about you as well. So stay strong. Next up, I've got Hazard. Great home fixture um, against Crystal Palace. I just hope that he's back. And Salah, obviously, against um, Arsenal. Um, so my captain is going to be Sergio. Next up, I've got Wilson. Not the fixture that I think that he's going to get some points, 
but you just don't know what can happen. Boom was playing really well. Uh, Manchester United, you know, are, are leaking goals here and there. So there might be a chance for him to do well. And Mitro, this could be Mitro's last, last game. And it is against Huddersfield. So this is his last game to prove himself that he can bring us the points. So that's my team. Uh, I got an okay bench, meaning a bench that actually plays. It's sub not hard. And uh, yeah, I'm happy. Now I could bank a transfer or I could make that goalkeeper transfer to Fabianski. So let's have a quick look at Fabianski's fixtures. So this was the keeper that I was thinking to transfer. Because in the next two, Burnley at home and Huddersfield away, is actually pretty damn decent. And even in this Manchester City game, he could probably save a lot of shots. And then they got Newcastle, Cardiff. I think, oh my. That is not bad. That is not bad. So I'm removing a player that is... You know, got a less chance to get some cliches. And I'm bringing in a player that has got a higher chance. And has got great fixtures throughout. So this could be... I think I'm, I'm going to make this transfer. I think I'm going to go for this transfer. And then I could bank my transfer in game week 12. I might do that. Yeah. Okay, we'll see. You let me know in the comments below what you think. So before I go, I just want to show you guys a few players that I'm thinking to bring into my team in the next coming game weeks. Um, this might help you guys along. Um, but I'm thinking to make a few videos this week about, you know, the goalkeepers, the defenders, the midfielders and strikers. Like which ones are the best ones to get right now? So for now, I'm going to give you guys suggestions. You know, if you want a goalkeeper, I think fabianski has got great fixtures. Pharrell. Uh, as a defender, I'm not 100% sure who to go for because there's quite a lot of uh, suggestions. Um, maybe a Chelsea a defender would be a good option if you don't have Alonso. And Manchester City. Because Manchester City's fixtures are very, very good. And in the next game against Southampton, there's a high chance for them to actually get a clean sheet. So let me just add, you know, Laporte for now. A few people are talking about Barkley because, you know, he scored three goals and three assists in the last three. Well, we don't know if he's going to continue, but this price tag of 5.8 is damn good. Very, very good. Uh, I think you can fit him in. If I I wish I had um, Barkley instead of Knockhard. So let's add Barkley here. So it is an option because of his price tag. I think if it was more expensive, maybe not. And as for the strikers, I'm going to leave Wilson here because I think Wilson is just performing really, really well. This guy is just fantastic. Um, if I was thinking to remove like Mitro, then I think I will bring Anatovic for his upcoming game weeks. So that is it, guys. These are some of the players that I'm thinking to bring into my team in the next coming game weeks. Now, this might all change, but we will see. Anyways, guys, thank you, thank you so much for joining in. Thank you so much for the support. I'm definitely, definitely going to uh, make some videos for, like, transfers, like, which ones are the best options for each position, and that is about it. Let me know in the comments below how well you did. Let me know what kind of strategy I should go for. Should I bank my transfer, or should I make that goalkeeper switch and maybe bank uh, my transfer in game week 12? You guys let me know which ones are the best plans. Uh, and that is about it. Thank you so much, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, come give this video a like. Let's see if we can get around 100 likes. It would be fantastic. Subscribe if you're new as well, guys. And that is about it. Have fun.